Trying to sleep. Here you go, Wishbone. No thanks. Uh, sleepy, not thirsty. And now, if you two will kindly excuse me, I believe I hear a chair calling my name. I have to go into work for a while, Joe. Did you make any plans for today? Not yet. Sam was talking about a street hockey game down by the park. Oh. Well, just make sure you straighten your room before you leave the house. Mom, it's Saturday. Can I do it tomorrow? Well, what about your social studies paper? Isn't it due Monday? Yeah, I guess so. Well, when are you going to do that? Tomorrow. Joe, you can't put everything off until tomorrow. Have you even started the paper? No. What's the subject? We're supposed to write about something our grandparents had that we wish was still around today. Oh. Did you pick a topic? No. Well, what about this? They're closing the old Hobrock plant. Nah, it's supposed to be something that we wish was still around. So, you got any better ideas? No, not really. I can't think of anything. Oh, there's my backpack. Excuse me, Wishbone. Uh Excuse me, did I live a wake-up call? Hey, after you've straightened up your room, why don't you come down to the library and do some research? I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, want to help me clean up? Hmm. Watch you work or sleep. Let me do some deep thinking about this. Mmm, nope, I thought about it. I choose the nap. Wake me when you're finished. Give me a dog's life any day. A dog's life indeed. Ah, oh, lovely. Nothing like a good nap. The kind of nap old Rip Van Winkle used to take. Rip originated the power nap and remains the patron saint of slackards everywhere. Rip Van Winkle was written in 1819 by Washington Irving, one of America's first great authors. Rip Van Winkle lived in colonial America just before the Revolutionary War. He was a simple, good-natured man loved by everyone in town. He'd sometimes help the ladies with odd jobs that their husbands ignored. Thank you for fixing the door, Rip. It's long needed attention. Rip made toys for the children and taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles. They were always delighted with his stories and playful antics. Nary a dog would bark at him. And he loved sharing hours of sleepy conversation with friends at the King George Inn. We've not seen the likes of this since the days of Peter Stuyvesant. What think you, Rip Van Winkle? But Rip most enjoyed avoiding the chores that Dame Van Winkle had planned for him by escaping to hunt in nearby mountains. The Catskills. <laughs> Poorly named. Cats do not have skills. Rip Van Winkle! Did you hear that? <gasps> Whoa! Hmm. Strange-looking fellow. Let me see. Clothes are a tad out of style. Big beard, bushy eyebrows, heavy set. Mm, nope, nobody I know. Should I be scared? So, uh, need a little help lugging the old refreshments up to a party, huh? Well, it just so happens that I have some time on my, uh, 
well, hands. <laughs> Lead on. I was actually going to take the small one, but... Okay. So, what's your name? Hey, uh, where are we going? Hey, uh, what's in the keg? Do you think I asked too many questions? Have you always been this talkative? Wow, hear that? Sounds like rain. Great. I've had more satisfying conversations with a fire hydrant. Well, stranger, I was glad to help out, but I really need to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, that wasn't thunder I heard. It was the sound of bowling balls. Hey, this is great! Must be league night. Okay, I'll stick around for one game, but then I... Was it something I said? Guys? Gentlemen? Huh? Huh? What's that? Let's go, Wishbone. You bet. Go where? Ooh, sunshine and a bench. Looks like I might have my nap after all. Go! I'm assuming that was an accident. Now wait here. I won't be long. Never fear. While I'm on guard, the perimeter is secure. Bet you're waiting on somebody now, aren't you? Have we met, madam? You know, I had a little fella who'd wait for me when I was a young girl. Little fella? He'd sit out here just as long as it took for me to find just the right book. <laughs> what a nice lady. Well, enjoy your trip to the library, ma'am. Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, thank you. No, I just stopped in to see the library. I wanted to see if it had changed as much as everything else in this town has. <laughs> Hard to believe this is where I used to come every Saturday. Oh, how long ago was that? Goodness. Must have been over 50 years ago. Oh, my. I left Oakdale 40 years ago to practice medicine in Chicago. I thought it was high time I revisited my roots. Well, welcome back. And feel free to look around as long as you like. Dr... Brown. Thelma Brown. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Brown. I'm Ellen Talbot, and I hope your visit's very special. Oh, thank you, Ellen. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> I'm guessing that's your dog out by the front door. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Looks like a keeper. It <laughs> sure is. <laughs> All right, boys, watch and learn. Another strike! Hey, loosen up, guys. You look like you've been rolling gutter balls all afternoon. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat skills got your tongue? Ooh, tough crowd. Okay, then, drinks for everybody. Come on over. Step right up, gentlemen. No need to be shy. There's plenty to go around. This stuff looks good. I think I'll sample a wee bit of this strange brew myself. Mmm! 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 Tasty! I like it! Got to remember to get the recipe before I go home. Well, enough of this. Let's get back to the game. All right, have we got... Whoa! Hey, all of a sudden I feel strange. Really sleepy. And so, Rip fell fast asleep. <laughs>